Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another cruise video, garden video, compilation of cruise and gardening videos. Last month, mom and I did a month long trip on the Carnival Pride, which is a European ship at the moment. It was birthed out of London and then it went down to be birthed out of Italy. And while we were there, we hit 10 different countries, both on land and on the ship. And we picked up dozens of souvenirs, things simple like postcards to a Pandora charm for every single country that we went to. You can check out that video below if you like. We did a whole video on how to find Pandora shops from the ship, <laughs> what the ships, what the ships, what the shops looked like, what charms we picked up that are exclusive to those countries. And that is probably the main souvenir that we picked up um, that we were excited for, looking forward to, but we did pick up some things that were more unique to those countries or that we found in little shops, whether they be local or touristy. And when I got home, I was putting everything together and I realized that besides the Pandora charms, almost all of my other souvenirs were garden related. Um, I really like to pick up souvenirs on trips that are things that I'll see on a daily basis or use, not necessarily just um, postcards or traveling keepsakes, but things I will actually be able to decorate with. So on this particular trip, this was the first thing I picked up that I want to show you. It is a light catcher. Now this is leaning at the moment, so I'm gonna have to come out here and work on it. But I love this. I picked up these capiz shells in Mexico on a trip. These I got on an island, maybe Aruba. I don't remember, they're little angelfish. And I love the sound of them. I literally had a friend over last week and she goes, do you have a stream nearby? It sounds like water. I said, no, it's my wind chimes. So wind chimes are a great garden gift from a trip as a souvenir, but I have one main hook. You can see my other hook came off. And so I found these two little hooks to complete my set. I wanted to be able to hang more than one thing on my shepherd's hook here. This shepherd's hook I found many years ago and I purchased it. We put it in concrete and it was a decoration at my wedding. And so I really wanted to reuse it. And so even though it's not perfect, it's pretty and I love the sentimentality of it. So instead of a third wind time, I picked up this light catcher. You can see it has blue and green little cheapio beads that catch the light and it moves in the wind. But really I picked it up because I love this portion. I got it in La Corona, Spain, and I'm a little frustrated because the one I picked out had pink and purple beads. And she was like, oh, I have one that's all packaged up for you. That way you can just put it in your suitcase. When you're buying something like wind chimes or a light catcher that has a lot of movable, breakable pieces, a lot of times these places, especially if they're tourist shops on vacation, will have one that's bubble wrapped and ready to go so that you can just pop it in your suitcase. So it's like, that's perfect. But I did not realize she had multiple colorways. These specific beads are definitely like, these are like kindergarten cheapo beads. And since this is the main part I like, I do think eventually I will probably replace these with prettier um, gems or beads of some kind. But for now, I put it on here. I do need to spray paint these to match my shepherd's hook. And there you go. My first thing that I got was a light catcher. Wind chimes are a great option. I also bought several other things. We're gonna go inside because I haven't put them out yet. As you can see, it is winter in my garden. So everything is a little uh, dormant. And uh, I'll show you the rest of the things I got, including my favorite from Giverne, France in Monet's garden. All right, so the other two garden related souvenirs I picked up are this deer. It is a little 
copper metal deer that you can put either just out in the landscape or in a pot. My mom actually got a hedgehog. I do believe that these are mass produced in some capacity because we saw them in several places, um, but in different German cities. So we got this guy in Germany. I'm not sure if they're mass produced, like where I could just order it from Amazon, um, but they were in these little garden centers all over Germany. And it was actually interesting because of all of the countries we went to, we saw so many little nurseries, garden shops, um, plant stores in Germany more than any of the other countries we visited where you could literally just like pop in and pick up a plant or a couple plants. Um, and they also had cut flowers, which was kind of fun. And they had plenty of little garden accessories. So I got this little deer. I'm not sure where I'm going to put him yet, which is why he's still inside. I'm going to wait, I think, till I plant everything for next year. And then I'll either put him in a pot or maybe, maybe among some gumbrina, something like coming up behind him. But my most exciting thing that I got is from Giverney, where of course Claude Monet lived. And they have an entire gift shop full of paintings and artwork and all kinds of different souvenirs. And I thought about getting something like that. But what I really wanted was to take all the pretty flowers home with me. And of course that was not an option. They don't sell live plants. Even if they did, I don't believe you could bring them across borders all the way back to the U S but what they do sell are seeds. So they had a whole different selection. I picked up two different kinds. So these are kind of fun. I will give you guys a close up. Don't worry. But, um, they are, they look like postcards. Like you could literally write on the back and mail them to someone. Um, and they have copies of his kind of paintings on the front, but this one contains a whole packet of chrysanthemum seeds. And this one contains an entire packet of Cosmos seeds. Now the, all the information on these is in French. And so I do speak some French. I took up through French six in high school. Um, so it's been a minute, but I speak enough that I can read most French writing, at least for a general understanding. But I don't, surprisingly, I did not study French names for all the different types of flowers in school or in real life. They do have the French names, but a lot of these packets actually had the Latin names, which of course are common across all languages. And so if you know any of the actual um, Latin names for flowers, they are the same. So I was able to, to tell that these are Cosmos and these are Chrysanthemums. From there, I picked up this packet. They had, they had plenty of these individual postcards to pick through. I think they had three of these and they are kind of like a seed starter pack, I guess you would say. I'm not sure. They have three different, one, two, three, small seed packets inside, and they say they're two grams of seeds each, which I'm not quite sure what that equates to in, um, you know, ounces, but they are, you know, it's enough to fill a small seed packet right? So that's usually at least a hundred to 200 seeds. And they have the writing on the back that tells you which is in each one. And they are all Latin names. Um, but essentially it tells you right on the front, um, fleurs, which is flowers, Bess is in melange. I'm not, that's not an awful accent. This is high. Bess is low. So these are low flowers. These are high flowers. Um, Grim Pantas. I, I know I'm saying these wrong. I, I cannot pronounce things on command, but these are vining flowers. So I wasn't sure when I bought this short of, you know, recognizing some of the Latin names like, um, Dianthus, like the Latin names for pin cushions. Um, there are, uh, Rebecca, 
There's Black Eyed Susan in here. There is some, um, just reading through everything. Some more chrysanthemums. Said Dianthus already. There is some phlox, some zinnias. So a lot of, you know, flowers that you saw in Monet's garden. If you want to check out the whole walkthrough of his gardens, we did a video tour of Giverney. So I will link that down below. But I thought this would be so much fun to get some seeds from Giverney and to try to grow them myself. So I'm going to be doing a whole project with these this year. And hopefully we will have some pretty spring summer flowers from France. That's exciting. And of course, if any of these germinate properly, I'm sure some of them will, we will collect seeds from them again next year. And then hopefully we can keep growing them for many years because I do think a lot of the seeds in here are annuals um, and cosmos are definitely annuals. I don't know about chrysanthemums, but I would assume they are. So that is it. Like I said, I will give you a close up of these and I will, I think I might do a a video just on these seeds because I started going through all of the flowers that are on here and it is a lot of flowers. So I think I'm going to do a video where I just put up a photo and the name of each of the flowers that are in this packet. Um, so if you want to check out in depth what all I'm going to be growing from here, I will link that down below whenever it is finished. But for now, that is it. A few ideas of things you can get on your next trip to Europe or to an island. A lot of those wind chimes are very easy to find on an island for your garden for yourself. Or if you're trying to find a present for someone who loves to garden, seeds, little garden trinkets, light catchers, wind chimes. These are all great ideas that anyone would love. I know I bought my mom a set of those wind chimes as well when I was in Mexico and she has them up at her house. She loves it. So hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.